So in 571 AD, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in the month of Rabiul Awwal, according to different narrations, 8, 9, 10, 12, which is the most uh, common opinion in, amongst the uh, scholars and people that he was born on the 12th. However, many scholars, they differ. But the month itself is being agreed upon by many of the Mu'arrikheen, by many of the historian. This is why, my dear respected brothers and sisters, this month of Rabi'ul Awwal, it's the remembrance, the revival, and, 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 and to bring that understanding that Allah Azza wa Jal selected a great individual to give it to this ummah. This was not given to any other ummah before. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being special from the time when he came to this birth, from the time he came into this world. Shifa, who was the midwife at the time of the birth of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she was the mother of Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu an. She was the mother of Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu an. She mentions at the time when I took the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam out from the womb of his mother Amina. The first thing that he did, Kharra Sajidan, he prostrated in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khasais al Kubra al Jalaluddin Sayuti, volume 1, page 77. The first thing that he did was he prostrated in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he lifted his shahada finger like this. And then after that, the cloud of the heavens came down. The cloud of the heavens came down. And it surrounded Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A caller from the sky called out. Take him and give him the tour of the east and the west. Let every single creation on the face of this earth know that Muhammad has been born. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been born. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu says, we were, I was walking with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said while we were walking, فَاسْتَقْبَلَهُ شَجَرٌ وَلَا حَجَرٌ وَلَا مَدْرٌ إِلَّا قَالْ السَّلَامُ عَلَيْكَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ each rock we went past by, each small limbs of, of, of sand we went past by, but every single one of them said to the Prophet ﷺ, may the peace and blessings be upon you. So every single creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was recognized about the Prophet ﷺ. Even the rocks knew him, even the grass knew him, even the trees knew him. This is all authentic narrations. This individual was special in the sight of Allah. He was selected for a great purpose. And what was his purpose? To bring peace upon humanity. The only purpose, remember there are many purposes that Rasulullah came for giving da'wah for Allah Azza wa Jal says, your existence is found on the face of this earth solely to create mercy upon humanity. Solely to bring mercy upon humanity, your existence will bring mercy. Everything you would do that will bring mercy. Today when we are going through all these situations and conditions and problems around the world, one of the greatest element that we are missing in our life is the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That how he dealt with these situations. What was his characters? What was his life? How he used to hug his own enemies? How he used to make dua for his own enemies. How he used to love his own enemies. Every single individual, they love Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, there is a saying, Al-Fadlu bima shahidat bihi al-a'da'u. That virtue is known when your enemy praises you. And this was indeed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are many narrations how those people who didn't like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even they were made to praise him. Because he was made for that purpose. One of the ways that we can show our love 
for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and make sure our love is not just confined to this month because the love is something that exists throughout, that exists throughout our life. So one of the ways to express our love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to send salutations upon him. And then Allah says, this action is so great because Allah himself is doing it continuously. His angels are doing it continuously. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O believers, sallu alayhi. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Make sure you also send your salutations upon him. And this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man salla alayya yawman, man salla alayya wahidan sallallahu alayhi ashra. The person who gives me, one time he sends salutations, Allah descends ten mercy upon him. فَأَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ الصَّلَوَاتِ فِي يَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ Increase your salutations upon me on the day of Jum'ah because you receive more blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah Azza wa Jal give us that, grant that ability to do that, that we start, continue to say our salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And do not confine it just to the month of Rabi'ul Awwal. It should continue throughout because the favors are unlimited. The favors are unlimited.